going to show you this. This is kind of a, a new feature too that's uh, coming out. I didn't plan on talking about this, but they actually pushed it in this release, so it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be good here. So you may have noticed send vehicles to tow lane automatically. So any of our customers that are in our tow lane states, um, we now have the option or the integration between Dispatch Anywhere and tow lane. Again, depending on the account, to send automatically that car over to tow lane. All right. So you'd have to select it, this, this account, I want those cars to go to towing. Under the impound lot, and again, if you have multiple lots, you'll have to set this up on multiple lots, or you may have different logins. Down here at the bottom, you need to put your uh, towing login information in. And you'll have an option here to days before vehicles move to towing. So let's just say, whatever the law states after five or 10 days, you want that car to be sent over to towing. This will now do it automatically for you based on your settings that you have. As soon as it goes to tolling, it does do the uh, registration search. If it's missing information, it's going to tell you that it's missing information on the tolling website. You'll have to put whatever you're missing uh, for it to complete those steps. Um, in some cases, and I think they're working on all of them, um, I'll have to follow up with Dan to be sure, but uh, my understanding is that the first letter would also automatically go out for you. Uh, off of tow lane's website. Now your second letter, or if there's any other letters after that that have to go out, you'll still have to send those manually, but I know they're working on uh, possibly automating that as well. Currently the automation piece that we're, I'm showing you here is the only option that we have. In new DA that we're developing currently, you'll have an option to manually send that over to tow lane as well. Uh, but currently we just have, we basically built in the automatic piece of it, and then the manual option will be in the new product. Um, and that's again kind of being developed right now. Um, they're moving pretty quick on it, so it should be out hopefully within the next couple of months. Um, so basically set up your account and set up your impound lot and those can be sent over uh, to Toline automatically. All right. Um, oh, one last piece with that. When you release that car out of Dispatch Anywhere, that stops the lien processing automatically in Toline. Uh, so let's just say the customer came to pick up the car that day um, and a letter was supposed to go out that day. We're going to go ahead and stop it, cancel that letter, and then, um, you know, obviously you won't pay for that letter in tolling. With that being said, you got to make sure that you are releasing cars in a timely manner or on that day in Dispatch Anywhere if you have this automatic feature set up. Otherwise, it's not going to stop the process and you may be charged for letters in um, tolling. So just be careful on that. I know a lot of customers that already use our tolling uh, keep up with their impound pretty good anyways, but just know that, you know, releasing the car to dispatch anywhere will stop the process in tolling automatically for you now. Um, so you can kind of keep everything in sync uh, with those two products.